you know, I'm on the other side of the world. You know, I always laugh when I get out here. It's the Bugs Bunny effect, right? When we grew up watching Bugs Bunny, he would dig his hole and he'd pop out the other side of the earth. And, you know, it's about exploration and, and essentially what graffiti writers do at, at, at the heart. I don't know your entry point into my life and my career, if you will, but if this was it, pretty dope. Well, once again, I think, uh, you know, when I first saw this location and what they had already done, uh, the whole reclamation of all this waste into something kind of quite interesting. Uh, I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great to do a sculpture, um, some sort of a piece, you know, perhaps based on the Point Man, and it was great title, uh, potentially we're thinking River Warrior. I just want to make something out of waste. So I look forward to, you know, what we're going to be able to do. I mean, I could say the things I knew about Indonesia were historical things, I guess, from the, from the region, but my thoughts about Bali had always been driven around uh, a surfing location. You know, a lot of these carvings and all of this type of ceremonial spirit, whether it's visually, dance, the attire, and I don't necessarily know all these cultural differences, you know, I judge my experiences on my human interactions with folks. But wow, these are very beautiful people. And I hope this experience can teach me something and I can also offer some happiness. This life of balance. Bali is the place to create better karma. There will be neither a concept beyond mine, a concept of balancing to create the harmony. Two opposite elements, the Sakala and Niskala, conscious and subconscious life, evil character and the divine character, positive and negative, black and white, black and white. So what, these are aligned uh, yeah. like that across? Exactly. I got you, okay. And then everything gets caught as the river flows in exactly. whatever direction, you, you catch all those larger bits. Exactly. And you have teams that do the collection at a certain point. Exactly. So we have mm. 150 of those throughout our body. So we do that every day. Uh, one of these big ones can hold like four tons of trash. Wow. Um, but every day we collect around like 3,000 kilos. And that goes to our different stations. This is our washing station here. Yeah, so this is like plastic bag. Uh, so right, so it's all done by colors, exactly. obviously. Yeah, this so this is a here. washing system? Yeah, so Got have, it. it's like a one-liner. Yeah. Water goes in and washes it. So in a batch like this, yep. this would sort of be equivalent to 14,000 bags. Yes. Just to give you a visual representation. I understand. You can look at that mound and say, yeah, that's about 15K yep, or whatever exactly. the case may be. Every day we're cooking. Yep. And every Where does that happen? Where's it cooking? So this is the cooking here. Here we go, brother. Give me some of that shit. Thank you. Get my guy up in here. Here we go. Okay. I'll let the pros do it. Yeah, no, it's, it's quite interesting. So, 
Even these pieces are pretty much post this again, like the one you showed me. So it's like layers. First pass. This is blue. Yep. You remelt it again. Because um, basically, like. What, and like, each time you remelt it, all these bits get filled in as well. Is that what happens? So those cavities just get pressed, pressed out or pressed in. Like, I guess everyone's looking to find a way to do something, you know, at least to break down these materials and then to repurpose that plastic into some other form. You know, obviously with the pattern of this bag, this black and white bag, it does create uh, a sort of random dazzle effect similar to uh, camouflage from over 100 years ago. Wow. I don't know. This, I mean, to me, there's a lot of ideas to use this material in a creative way. It's like a little dream catcher. Yeah, that's what I heard. Like everything needs to be blessed, right? They're dumping right now. Yeah. Crazy. Yo, like, live dumping. Yeah, that's just not, not fucking cool. Wow, I don't even know how you, how do you begin to. So, although they're illegally dumping like right now, there's no enforcement, no one's there to write a ticket or fucking. No. No, 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 no. Wow. I commend you guys for what, I mean, I commend you guys, honestly. I mean, what a, what a mission. So, yeah, I mean, this is quite shocking. You see the, juxtaposition of something beautiful against that. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could get her to wave at me. Like, hey, we see you, you're killing it. Look at these people below you. I once had to do community service for the city, cleaning up trash in the park with one of those little, you know, pokers where you're kind of doing your best to... But uh, this is a big project. I'm gonna need some help. Oh man, what a problem. Right, so I mean, that's an example right there of, you know, worst case scenario. But you know what's that? That's not even worst case. No. Extreme case. You know, it's not about like, you know, you're, you're some savior to the situation, but you're also, you know, you're, you're making some contribution to the, yeah. to the effort, you know. And however small that is, like I said, I mean, it's got to start in the home with some consciousness and I needed to be enlightened. Jadi alam semesta ini sendiri adalah juga terpengaruh oleh konsep Ruo Binedo ini di dalam penciptaan.
without Ruo Binedo, it wouldn't be any mountain. It wouldn't be any river and then ocean and water. Preserving the life. That's Ruo Binedo. Pardon me. So obviously looking at the problem at hand, it's clear, it's global, whether it's Bali, New York, and wherever you know we would call home, there's an issue. It affects everyone. Like I do remember years ago when I was a teenager and people were talking about saving the planet and ecology and things that were conscious of the environment. So. You know, it's a lot of time wasted and, you know, a lot of things have gone in the wrong direction. So, I think globally, we all need to get to work and do our part. Between black and white, there's always a gray in the middle. And that space is very important to control the balance to unite diversity. Where was that? Where is that sound coming from, guys? I'm ready for you. Honestly, amidst that black and white visual, it's also a contrast because Bali is so colorful. It's a full palette. preserving, destroying. The art of life, you know. Painter, they're using the artwork. Farmer will use the art of farming. Everyone has the potential to reach liberation. Yeah, those are the, that's my sombrero. Whoa. Essentially, it's a puzzle 
You got all the panels cut to all the facets and facades. This is pretty cool though. Tip of the spear, that's where you want to be. Yeah, this is beautiful. I mean, no pattern is anywhere close. Oh, I got it. Man, I, it took me a while. I'm a little slow. Star Wars? Okay, a little Star Wars effect. Yeah, what an incredible uh, operation. I gotta say, honestly, with the creation of this guy, I don't know if, if, if it's biggest, best, you know, but, it, but it's really, uh, you know, it's quite an accomplishment, I think, for all of us to have pulled this off. target is you go beyond dualism for a better condition of your soul, a better condition of the future.